you down in Eden. Who wants to know? John McNally, hot and courier. I'd like a word with you, that's OK. What about? Your dad, Billy. I've heard he's been released on parole. Get lost. Well, it can't have been easy for you, after what he's done. What do you want? I'm just having a quick word with Darren, if that's all right. He's got nothing to say to you. You give us a bell if you change your mind, yeah? You won't be needing that. How well do you know Andy Sugden and Darren Eden? Daz is a friend of mine. Right. And you'll probably know that his real dad's a convicted murderer. Well, what's that got to do with me? I'd like to hear Darren's point of view. Whatever Billy's done, is still his dad. He might feel differently. He hardly knows him. Well, maybe he wants to spend some time with him. Or maybe he hates him as much as everybody else. But you can find out. No. No, I can't do that. He's a friend. I thought you wanted to be a journalist. He didn't want to talk about his dad. Yeah, well, I knew that already. That's why I've asked you to go and see him. You're his mate. He trusts you. I tried. Sorry. Maybe you didn't try hard enough. I did. And? What exactly did he say? Nothing. He, he clammed up. Like somebody else I could mention. Word of advice, if you find a story, you have to go for it. You can't afford to have any scruples, because if you don't get it, somebody else will. Now, if you're going to make it, you're going to have to toughen up. OK. Black coffee and a bacon sarnie when you're ready, love. Oh, she'll serve you. I've finished. Bye! Not exactly on your way to work, is it? Depends where I'm working. Got a bit of a story on the go here, if I'm honest. Oh, listen. Okay. You sorted everything with the charity money, have you? Is this on the record? Well, there isn't one yet, but for how much longer? Wow. Look, I can't take the money back, can I? I've already pledged it. Oh, that's very noble. If it had been your money. I am sorting it. I just need a bit more time. So please, keep this to yourself. <laughs> you do understand the nature of my job, don't you? I find out things and then I write about them for a lot of people to read. The more I find out, the more I get paid. Find out nothing, and I don't eat. I'll bring your order over on the house. Viv, Mrs Hope. I have just... not committed a crime, just made a mistake. I will try and put it right, if you'll let me. OK, well, you did the wrong thing for the right reasons. And besides, tomorrow's edition's full anyway, so... The day after, though, is missing a great big four-column charity floor story right off the front page. You've got a day. Don't make me have to print it. No sugar in me coffee, thanks. I'm watching me wake. Afternoon. And you, Bob? Look, he wants you to react, so just give him a cuppa and some wine. Hey, Bob. I asked Ross about his scratch card addiction. Did, did you? No, of course he didn't. Yeah, well, maybe not. But I was told about somebody being done for lewd behaviour in the shop, though. Yes, there was, uh, there was a bit of a misunderstanding. Ah, oh, yeah. Story of your life, that, Bob. Actually, um, was it you? <laughs> oh, that, 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 easy. Front page tomorrow. The missing money. I need a comment, that's oh, all. Get out! Please. Go! Oh, one last thing. Oh. Cheers for the coffee. Well? You can write, I'll grant you that. But we can't publish your article, that as it stands. Well, what about the work experience? Yeah, I've had a word with the editor, he's okay with that. Oh, right, cool, when do I start? You've started, just keep tabs on anyone and everyone. You never know what's going to be useful background till the police charge someone. Right. Oh, and by the way, you missed the prime suspect. Who? Chastity Dingle. Police had her helping with their inquiries all day yesterday. So, what did you think of my article? Well, you were lucky there was no real news about or they'd never be printing it. Well, I could do a lot better if they'd actually let me have a big story. <laughs> Come on. You had one right in front of you and you never took the chance. What do you mean? Well, I reckon one of the nationals would have paid for the inside dirt and Laurel and Ashley. My baby swap agony. <sighs> Come on. I couldn't do that to them. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why you'll never make a reporter, Jasmine. You haven't got the stomach for it. Thanks for the drink. 